Wally, Uncle Wally. I want the Zag Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can I have it, yeah? Oh, Willy, wouldn't you rather have a keen stamp collection like your uncle, hmm? Oh... No! I want the Zag Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! We want to get the Zag Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! Can we have it, huh? Please, it'll keep us busy while you nap! <laughs> all right, all right, but then I get a nap. Do you have the Zach Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Do you have the Zach Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Our toys are in the toy department. According to my computer, we only have one Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip left in stock. Then I guess it's mine. I have my value Yopper Club card. Yeah? Well, I've got two of a kind. That beats your hand. The toy's mine. The toy is mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I say, may the best uncle win. Wait a minute. That's not fair. I was here first. Go, yeah, come on, Uncle. What do you do? You can do it. Yeah, go, get it. Go, get it. Go, go, get go, it. Go, 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 Store directory. Hmm, let's see. You are here. And you're gonna stay here too. By Yingo. By Yingo? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be the best uncle. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Bye bye. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Hey! Enough with the open down! Woodpecker, would your little wooden heads have more fun with this than a silly old doll? I'll trade you! Ah, uh, pogo sticks don't have laser eye beams. <laughs> hey! Ah, ah, ah. Little Willie's gonna be as happy as a podgy Swedish banker on deposit day. Oh, Wally, wouldn't your nephew rather have a neat basketball? It doesn't have boomerang fists. Whoa! Say, Bub. Are you the kind of walrus that has everything? Do you want to have something no one else does? Then why not be the first on your block to own your very own country? Mm-hmm. Think of the joy of owning your own sovereign landmass. There are several nice ones to pick from. How about Portugal, France, Morocco, or... Sweden? Ooh, 
Jumpen Jemini. I want to buy Sweden, and I want to buy it now. As a value shopper, it's all yours. Yes! Zack Zobar is mine! The jig is up, Mr. Smarty Feathers. I need that toy. Hoidy <laughs> boidy, I got the toy. Nap time's over. One toy coming up. Do 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 do. <laughs> I'd like to buy this and use my valued yapper card so I can get my bonus points. I'm saving them up for a fjord skimmer. Don't worry, sir. I'll bag it for you right now. You, you cheater! That's mine! Uh, hey, hey, look, Willy. I got you the, the invisible torso, Zobar Zaki. Yeah. Look, kids, it's the battle damage Zack Zobar with special fall off arms and short circuit eye beams. No, it isn't. You guys broke it. Besides, the new cool toy is the Dermatron Super Multi Mega Action Racer with lightning lasers. Oh, can I have one, Uncle? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can we have one, Uncle Woody? Can we? Can we? I'm afraid we only have one in stock. Oh, my. And we're closing in two minutes. Go, Uncle Well, hello, breakfast. Hey, Wally, buddy, neighbor, Hal. Hmm. If it isn't my neighbor, the moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. By Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide and seek. Hello. Uh, can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Hoo-hoo, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? <coughs> Hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I've nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Aha! Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. 
Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Lil Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami! But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. No, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Aw, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that will leave you with... Prison food. No! Anything but that. I confess. I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. It's your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? What? IRS, Mr. Walrus. It has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. Right about now, 
those two moochers would be asking me for a sip. <laughs> Gee, I, I wonder if I was too hard on them. Nah. Tonight on Hardline, kids speak out against adults who are too hard on them. Huh? Meet little Johnny Boom Boom, who had to go to military school. Now, every time he's bad, little Johnny Boom Boom gets sent off to his room room. Oh, oh, oh! They could come home worse than when I sent them. I gotta get those kids out of there. All right, my little heroes. <laughs> you got lookout duty. Now keep an eye out for infiltrators. If anybody comes in, you stop them. Be on your guard. You'll never know when you're being tested. Wow. This place is excellent. They must be out on maneuvers. What would great, great Uncle Colonel Mac Pecker do in this situation? Aha! He'd peck his way to the front lines. Battle helmet. <laughs> Camouflage. Transportation. <laughs> Military accessories ready. Commencing operation infiltration. <laughs> Uh-oh. Incoming bogey at 3 o'clock! Engage missile firing systems! Fire! One! <laughs> now, let's capture the infobator! Oh boy, this place is hardcore. But I'm a mech pecker. And there isn't an army alive that can stop that beak. There he is, using the old stilts on the water trick. Hey, Jaws, what's the matter? Snap away all you want. Can't get me. <laughs> Turn my bombs away! Huh? Ah! Come on, feet! We're almost there! into the open. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Stinkweed. Stinkweed. Skunk. Skunk. Ready? Fire! <laughs> Stink bomb. Target's on the move. Move it out. Battle to the metal. Soldiers, now let's see what we've got here. All right, watch out. Where are my kids, Mister? Uncle Woody. Soldiers, you know this infiltrator? Sure, he's our Uncle Woody. What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. I uh need bowling partners. Yeah, take us home. But we love it here, Uncle Woody. You do? Yeah, we, we want to stay. And you're welcome to stay with them, soldier. Because tomorrow is Relatives Reconnaissance Day. Ha da ha ha. Why, these little warriors get to hunt you down and capture you. <laughs> and that sound, uh. Hey! <laughs> Would you look at that? He can't wait to get started. First squad, 
After him! Yes, sir! <laughs> you long for the good life? A treehouse on Easy Street. You need to learn how to make your species proud with the Phony Robin's personal triumph plan. You'll learn that self-esteem is all about appearances and communication. Hmm. This Just is perfect. Of you'll be able to see how I made an absolute fortune. Hold on one crumb picking minute there. Excuse me. You. Antenna head walking towards my kitchen. Hey. What's the big idea? <laughs> the big idea is you're out of milk. Welcome to the documentary channel. Hey! You can't just move into someone's place and freeload. Out! And stay out! <laughs> Newsflash! My house! My food! My chair! No! Please don't! I I I splatter easily. <laughs> I got nowhere else to go. I can't make it in the outside world. You don't know what it's like being the runt of the family. <laughs> Everyone else succeeding, and you're failing. <laughs> Please, just give me a chance, will you? My whole life's been an uphill battle. <laughs> but you, look at you. You're living the life here. Well, I didn't always have a treehouse on Easy Street, you know. I had to work hard for the good life. Please let me stay. I could learn from you. All right. But if you're gonna stay, you gotta straighten up and fly right. You've gotta hold up your end of the place. Gotta come up with the rent every month. And to do that, you gotta go out and make something of yourself. You've gotta be aggressive. Can't be slacking off or looking for the easy way out of situations. No siree! No more freeloading! Now get out there and make your subspecies proud! You got it, mister. I'm gonna make that change. I'm off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. Look out, world! This is one upwardly mobile cockroach coming at ya! <sighs> Just thinking about all the work he's gonna do is wearing me out. <sighs> Chester the Cockroach has got a job. I'm climbing that ladder of success. You got a job? You bet I did. And I made 50 bucks. Ah, well, uh, good work, Chester. Now you can pay me your part of the rent. But that only leaves me with two dollars. I must have added wrong. Why, you're right, Chester. Hey, now I only have one dollar. Well then, it looks like you need to go get a better job, Chester. Go out there and work, 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 little buddy. Hello, Woody. I got a huge promotion. Everything you taught me is paying off. Good work, Chester. But, uh-oh, inflation, devaluation, taxation. Looks like your rent just went up a hundred bucks. Then there's your water and electric bill, TV privileges. Wait a minute! TV priv? Frequent user fee, occupancy payroll, and the unavoidable what's yours is mine pay now and then pay again later assessment commission. Thank you. Next! Well, how am I supposed to get ahead in life without money? Chester, have I taught you nothing? It's about appearances, networking, and communication. So get out there and make my subspecies proud. <laughs> Check it out, Woody. I got a new car with brakes that could stop a bad day. Ah, time to pay your rent, Chester. 
You know, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of moving up in the world only to have to hand everything over to you. I've changed jobs more often than you've changed socks. You're a disgrace, and it's time to put the teacher to the test. You get a job, Woody. So get out there and work, work, work! Say, what are you up to now, Woodpecker? I'm gonna get a job. A job? <laughs> What's this world coming to? What am I doing? If you can't beat them, move them. You know, little fella, you were right. I was? I got a job in real estate. And you watch me. Soon I'll be more upwardly mobile than the space program. You bet. But a bug with your success shouldn't have to live like this while I'm still pulling myself up by the tail feathers. No, sir. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So, my first real estate deal is to get you set up in a house that's a home in the style to which your money is accustomed. Behold, elegance. And it comes furnished, too. But can I afford... It's not about affording. It's about investing. It's about planning for your future. It's about making things happen. It's about... Well, how much do you have? I've saved ten grand. Say, what are these walrus pictures? You know what? I'm going to sell this place to you at cost. Sold! Gentlemen, the pride of his subspecies. You know, that little guy was right. I could be a dynamite salesperson. Work my way to the top. Nah. Cardboard is our friend. I get you now by Yiggity, you little cockroach. I get you out of my house. This is my place. What are you doing? Hey, help, help. Crazy walrus, This is a mess! C. Tenant will maintain property in condition in which it was rented. But, but, and said tenant will be out on his tail feathers if this place isn't spick and span in one hour! Oh, man. I'm gonna miss my pre-game practice on the driving range. Hmm. If I gotta clean up, I might as well have a little sport and fun while I'm at it. Four! Cha cha cha. Like I always say, if you can't see the mess, there is no mess. Hmm. This calls for a putter. Well, that ought to do. Ah, of course, you daft woodpecker. That's where the account was all along. Let the healing cleanup games begin! First event, the Mighty Hammer Crush! Okay then, it's on 
into the kitchen for some deep sink diving. Soak for a minute. Ah! Ah! It is time for some cleaning justice. A matter of balance and control. There's no way he could have cleaned up that mess by now. I'll finally get rid of that good-for-nothing woodpecker once and for all. Hey. Whoa. Woodpecker! Oh my gosh, Miss Meanie! Before she comes too. Are you okay, Miss Meanie? You must have passed out from the cleaning fumes. I was so busy scrubbing this place spotless that I didn't even see you come in. Huh? I don't remember any fumes. Say, where is everything? Uh, how about, uh I sent the furniture out to be shampooed. <laughs> yeah. I know what you did. You just hit everything in. Huh? Woodpecker? I don't know what to say. You did an amazing job cleaning. How in the heck did you do it so fast? Eh, nothing to it. Just a bit of elbow grease and some old-fashioned woodpecker know-how. Hmm. Hiya, buddy. Sorry I'm late, pal. Had a little mess on my hands. I can beat that. Mind if I am? Not too hot! Oh well, sand trap, water hazard, living room. Definitely a three iron. Now that's a clean shot. <laughs> oh boy, business stinks. <sighs> Winnie's salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some hard customers. Oh, a day of beauty. <laughs> Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. 
I'll give him a shampoo that'll make him wig out for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. Look in the mirror. Can I have a look too? experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Winnie! Huh. She must have left. All the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait. I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit! Caught in the act! All this in the name of dirty wig money! Let your machine in! Oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it! Go on, pretty boy! Shut up! Be 
okay? Are you kidding? I think we look great. Yeah, Peachy and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Iguana Ted's Junk Heap. Out of business? Well, if Iguana Ted is out of business, he won't need this! If you squint, the sand looks beachy. Hey, my tire! Say, banana boy, that's not your... <gasps> Try and make a monkey out of me, will ya? <laughs> sand and surf, here I come! <laughs> sells tickets to see other animals in cages. <laughs> hmm. That ape's too big to bully. I'll have to make a trade. I can see the jungle safari ride from here. Oh, yeah? It's all yours. Let me help you out, bub. Yep, you're a real swinger, all right. <laughs> Farther than 
you can. <laughs> Throw over the wall to beat me. Okay, give it your best shot. <laughs> hmm, this guy is good. Hey, bet you can't burp as big as me. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to drink as much as you can. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> for one last haul, and my tire was a missing from my sign. <laughs> Hooligans. There goes my day at the beach. What? You like the beach? <laughs> well, sorry, pal. There's no way to get to the beach without a tire. <laughs> That was most chivalrous to help us me, as thou didst. I grant thee ten tickets each for thy noble actions. Wow! You're the bestest, Chester. Hear ye, hear ye. Whosoever winneth the most prize tickets shall be crowned king and queen of the fair. Let the games begin. <laughs> Billy the bully, and that motor mouth Louie. What I tell you, wooden heads, I was going to do to you next time I saw you. Um, buy us lunch? Ah, uh, take us out to the ball game? Uh, no, no, no. Lunch does not seem. And and and, and ball games. Oh, I am certain it was something of a bad nature. Harm was involved, Billy. Oh yes, uh, possibly plucking. Nah, you said we'd go swing dancing. <laughs> Swing dancing is just so not me, Louie. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shooting gallery! I bet we can win the most points today and become king of... <laughs> now I'll show those two bird brains who's what! Load and fire, Louis. Oh. Ah! No, no, no. no, no. Ah! You know, keep shooting like that and you could be King Louis. Ooh. Hm. I've always thought I looked good in a cape and crown. My, that's some chivalry of shooting, young archer. Twenty tickets for thee. Billy. Billy. Ready, young knights, for ye mighty log rolling competition. Okay, I'll keep them two moat dopes busy up top while you tip them over from down below, Louie. Billy, 
It is brilliant. I am in awe of your plans, struck with deep and at times disturbing amazement. Frankly, I don't really see how I thought you could do this. Remember, knights, you can only attack your opponent with your pugil sticks. When I hit you with my puking stick, you'll be throwing up things you ate in kindergarten. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> Looks like I won. I think something's going on down under. <laughs> 20 tickets for the winners! So, Louie, you want to be king of this joint? Oh, Billy, I would love you more than my favorite pickle and peanut butter croissants if this were indeed the thing you could do for me. And now, the final game! Whosoever can defeat the evil Black Knight, uh, me, and get into Yon Castle will receive... <laughs> Was that part of the game? I don't know. Billy, you are so smart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 my nose. We can play the new walk straight. It looks like Sir Chester has suddenly become Sir Fleabag. I, Sir Nuthead, will pummel and drummel the Black Knight. <laughs> And gollies, not headed splinter, you win free Chester the Jester event. Twenty more tickets. No, no, please. Don't give them all those tickets. You can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tied you up, Chester. Shut I mean... up, Louie. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know what he's saying. He ate some bad fish. <laughs> I just want to be king. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Chester, we want Billy and Louie to have our Whoa. tickets. Yeah, we're willing to forgive and forget. Oh, well, that's the most chivalrous thing I've ever seen. It. To the king's coronation! Your subjects clamor for you, Billy. I told you, I ain't coming out. <laughs> I'll get you, woodpeckers. You got this. How do you run at these things? of delicious barbecue ribs, especially when they're slathered with my thick, tangy, homey, homestyle barbecue rib sauce. <clears throat> Once you've tried it, you'll never want to be without it. <clears throat> For barbecue that ain't phony, it's got to be homey. Sergeant Hogwash. General Oxford is on his way down from Texas. His boys are gonna do some top secret Antarctic core ice training. Oxford has promised his boys a Texas-style barbecue before they start. You know what we say in the Corps, Sergeant. An army marches on its stomach. Yes, sir, they do, sir. 
painful as that sounds, sir. That airdrop contains all the Texas barbecue fixings you'll need. Carry on. Now this here's a barbecue. Mess for a Texas battalion can't be a teeny weeny roast. It calls for a full scale Texas style grill. Now I'll tell you what, that there beef is still on the hoof. As you were, penguin. <laughs> Just wouldn't be a barbecue without Mama Hogwatcher's famous country coleslaw recipe. Cleanses the palate, don't you know? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Hot diggity dog. The flight simulator unit will make the perfect mixing bowl. And everybody knows that the key to any great barbecue is in the sauce. And my super secret recipe would make 50 miles of Texas desert taste good. Yes, sir. Come on. Ten Hart, insubordination will not be tolerated, especially from an Step out of line again, and I'll bust you down to a scallion. Company, stand by to me. Especially with that side of beef in tow. Gotcha! And you are now clear for launch, little soldier. Mama Hogwash used to say, a barbecue without beans is like a barbecue without beans. not ready. Well, then who did that? Huh? 
Texas sized shish kebabs. Hmm, now that's Army ingenuity. At ease, little recruit. Why don't you join me at my picnic table? But, sir, he's no recruit. He's a penguin. Zip it, soldier. You're going to be peeling potatoes for the next year for leaving this barbecue to a subordinate. <laughs> he's no subordinate. He, he's a penguin. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This barbecue's the best I've ever tasted. You've got real potential, soldier. How'd you like to run the officer's mess from now on? <laughs> <laughs>